like the gray with the purple and this fly is about to be murdered. <sighs> Woosa, it's been a long day and the fly is really asking for it, I swear. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I'm Michelle with Prettiest Problem and today I decided to do a smoky eye. I've been wanting to do a smoky eye, like a really good dark smoky eye for a while. Um, this one is pretty simple. I used a base, two shadows, and that was pretty much it. Um, I lined my eyes and put on lashes, and then I just did like a really cool tone, like grayish lip um, to complement the transition color. And um, I like the way it turned out. So all of my uh, videos, I usually just kind of go, you know, pick up things as I go and figure out what I'm doing as I'm going along. So it kind of look, it may look a little crazy. Um, you may see me struggling at the end, especially with my lips. I was like trying to figure out what I was going to do, but I like the way it turned out. So hopefully you will enjoy this video and give me a good thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. So until then, bye. Okay, so I'm going to try to concentrate on this eye because I have like a weird shadow going on over here. And I know my lighting isn't the best. It's nighttime, so this is probably like the best I can do. So I'm going to do a smoky eye, as you may know. So um, I already have on my foundation and my highlight. And so I'm just going to start with my eyes, sh eyeshadow. First thing I'm going to do is take this black track liner from MAC Cosmetics. And you can either take your finger or you can take like a concealer brush or something like that and just place it on your eye as a base. And I concentrate it towards the bottom and then I'll take my ring finger and just soften up that line and pull it out. So this is just going to help your smoke to be a lot smokier and it'll pick up the color a lot better. Okay, now that I have my black base on, I'm going to go in with my Naked 3 palette. I'm going to take the color Nooner, which is a mauve pink color, and I'm going to take a blending brush and just work that into my crease as a transition color. So we're just going to soften up that black a little bit so just at the perimeter of where that black ends. Now I'm going to take the color that I'm using which is Envy from Colourpop Cosmetics and it's a dark, it's like a black shadow with purple uh, glitter in it like purple and gold and I'm just going to take that on my ring finger work it in on my ring finger and place that right on top of that base that I laid down now you have to be careful with this shadow on your finger because clearly your finger is kind of large so you don't want to get it too far on the bottom even though we're going to smoke out the bottom. I'm going to take this brush and try to blend out the edges. So just so that it fades in I'm going to take a clean 217 brush and just work that that line out because you want a soft gradient effect. Okay, and I'm going to just put a little bit more right on the bottom just to give it that glitter pop again because the glitter kind of faded away. Okay, so now if you see any unevenness, just work it in a little bit. You can feel free to go back and forth between your blending brushes. Okay, so now that we have the basic shadow on. I'm going to line my eyes off camera and I'm actually going to use this NYX NYC liner and this is a it's actually pearlized black and then I'm going to put on my lashes and I will be back. Okay so that legit took me like 15 minutes to do. 
So now that my eyelashes are on, I'm going to line the bottom of my eyes with Max Smolder Pencil, which is just a black eye comb. Any black pencil will do. Just make sure you get it nice and dark. Sometimes if you heat it up a little bit with like a lighter, like quickly run a lighter through it. Case in point. Two seconds, that's it. You don't want to burn your eye. It'll come off a lot easier. Okay, so now that I have my black shadow on, I mean my black eye coal on, I'm just going to take a pencil brush and kind of smudge it out a little bit. Now I'm going to take that blending brush and I'm going to go back into this naked palette to that Nooner color again. And I'm just going to smudge out the bottom. Then I'm going to take my ColourPop again. And I'm actually going to put it on that same pencil brush. I'm going to try to get it on there. And run it really, really close. So you want to get that nice and smoky. I'm going to smudge it back out with this uh, blending brush. No product on it. Just kind of... I don't want it to be such a straight line. And forgive my eyes for being red because it's like 10.30 at night. So I'm kind of tired. I never have time to film videos and I kind of hate filming them at night because the lighting is not that great and my eyes are red because I'm not a night person but I do it for you so you see how that looks like a lot more sultry sexy kind of thing so now that I have that on I was thinking about putting a highlight on the top of my brow bone I've been actually liking this coconut color coconut cream so I'm going to take a flat shader brush and just apply that to my brow bone just to kind of pop that sucker out a little bit. And it's a matte color so it's not a real, it's not going to give me any shine but it will give me the lift that I'm looking for. I'm also, I actually love this virgin color from Naked One so I'm going to take another pencil brush and just pop that on the inner tear duct kind of opens up the eye a little bit and this is optional you don't have to do this but I like to do it every now and then and I kind of put too much but you get the point so that's pretty much it for the eyes I don't think I have any fallout um, oh my bottom lashes I'm just going to put on some mascara on my bottom lashes give me a second because I I can't really do this on camera either now I'm going to put on some blush okay so I'm going to use this blush pearlescent pink by wet n wild and I think I may put a little bit of fresh by coastal scents over it this has a little bit of a shimmer to it but not too much just like a pearly color so I'm going to put in some of this fresh on top of it. I'm going to put a little bit of a um, sleek contours kit in medium. I'm going to just contour it a little bit more. And the highlight I'm wearing is actually Max Soft and Gentle. So now I need chapstick. I'm going to go in with my hand. My daughter has been messing in it again, I can tell. Okay, I'm going to go with Strip Down by MAC Lip Liner. I swear, Strip Down is like my exact color. Well, 
very close to it. And now I have this lip tar by OCC called The Bastion. It's in the little tester tube. And I'm going to use a concealer brush to place it on my lips. And I'm kind of just winging it here, as always. I like this color, but I feel like it just needs a little bit of a definition. So I'm going to give Rock and Rose by Jordana a try. Let's see. The Rihanna. Viva Glam Rihanna too. I don't know. The jury's out on this one. But it's late at night. I'm playing with my makeup. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. We struggled a little bit with the lips at the end, but I actually like the way it came out. I like the gray with the purple and this fly is about to be murdered. Woosa, it's been a long day and the fly is really asking for it, I swear. Yes, I think the purple goes nicely with the gray, especially the transition color on the top. And um, I don't know. I like it. So. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Please check out my last video. Um, it was a spring bold color look. So I hope you enjoyed that as well. And until my next video, YouTube. Bye. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. You will stay tuned. So hopefully you will enjoy this video. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. <clears throat> we struggled a little bit with the lips at the end. <clears throat> we struggled a little bit with the lips at the end. And that was a base. A, a That was a... I used three colors on my lid for the actual um, look. And that was a base. I used three colors on my lip. I'm sorry if I'm like a little frazzled.